Hello, seventh graders. So I just want to kind of go over a little bit of what we talked about last week or what you learned. We we're really looking at chemical reactions and specifically cellular respiration that happens within the cells of the body. So we looked at this uh, experiment that has to do with a chemical reaction. So different um, products were put in or ingredients were placed into the bag. So there was Phenol, phenol red, and there was also um, baking soda. And we watched what happened. They squished the bag, right, and sealed it. And there was no air inside of it. And it was a red color. And um, so the, in the, during the course of the chemical reaction, the bag expanded and the color changed from red to yellow. And when she touched it, the bag felt warm. So those are all evidence that a chemical reaction took place. So when um, products are put together, they combine, they, they, in, a chem, in a chemical reaction, those products turn into or combine to form new um, products or the reactants is what they're called. And so that is um, also energy was released. And so we looked at that and then we, talked about cellular respiration. And so some of the things that they had in common was that new substances were made as well as there was energy that was released. So because a bag felt full, warm, we know that energy was released. When we look at cellular respiration, inside the cells of the body, we have these um, <clears throat> mitochondria where oxygen and glucose combine and um, they, the uh, substances that are made are carbon dioxide and water that's released from the cell, and so is energy. So glucose plus oxygen yields water, carbon dioxide, and energy, and this is called cellular respiration. So I'm gonna go to the cell of the body. I'm gonna feed the person some sandwiches, and I am going to um, speed it up a little bit. Actually, I want to feed them corn because it'll be easier to see. So I am going to, it's easier for me to see it in when I can see all of the, the whole body and not just the cell. So I'm going to feed the person some corn. And now I'm going to click here and zoom in and notice how we can see all these oxygen molecules. And as the oxygen molecules, I'm gonna slow it down now that we have it going a little bit. So see how the oxygen and glucose are coming in and out comes water and carbon dioxide. And did you see the, the mitochondria glowed as well? So I'm gonna show you one more time. So that's cellular respiration. And we can tell that the ener energy was released because the mitochondria glowed as well as right here, it shows that the cellular respiration, kind of the key gets more as once the oxygen and um, glucose have come into the mitochondria. So make sure you understand cellular respiration. And if you are not understanding it, then either, visit me during office hours, go back and look at those lessons or um, ask me in an email. So this week, I'm gonna go to our modules. We are going to continue talking about cellular respiration. We're going to look at the amino acids because we know oxygen and glucose combine in order to, um, in cellular res respiration and um, what is released is oxygen, I mean, is carbon dioxide and water as well as energy. So we're gonna look at that in here. I'll show you in a second. We're also going to um, read an article, an interesting article about being able to mess with metabolism to win races. So we're gonna read this article and annotate it. And I'm gonna show you where we're doing it within um, the canvas again. And I'll there will be a video as well as audios for this. Um, make sure that you do the Nearpod that gives you examples of it, the annotations before you read it. 
and there will be a video as well as the um, the audios here as well. But also make sure to answer these two questions, and you can put that at the bottom of your annotations in a comment. So that is lesson eleven. So I'm going to come back over here to lesson ten, and um, this one, you're going to do this simulation. So you can click on here to get into the sim. Remember that you will go into, um, you will be using uh, your Clever, login via Clever and make sure to use your username and password. If you can't get in or you also just wanna see the simulation as well, you can always watch the video. And then you'll continue through the lesson and um, make sure to answer all of the questions. There is another video for you to watch that um, we'll be talking about um, these questions about cellular growth and repair. So make sure that you do that for this lesson. And then um, lesson 11 I already talked about and lesson 12 will be looking, once we have read that article about messing with um, metabolism in order to win races, you're going to be introduced to a, a student, a cyclist named uh, Jordan Jones. And your problem will be to determine if um, he in fact did cheat and blood dope, or if he actually was um, doing high altitude training in order to benefit and get um, to be able to have more oxygen while he was racing. So that's what this lesson is going to be about. And you will be making sure that you evaluate evidence. So there will be, um, you will have various evidence cards to sort through as well as annotate. So if you look here, you will be um, annotating this. You can highlight it, but you also write down your ideas or questions for each card. So there are eight cards, two on each slide. And then um, once you you will share with um, the classmates, please make sure when you're sharing, make sure that you put you, your post it, write your name so you can talk with each other about the information that you're learning. That's how it's best to have um, the opportunity to discuss with each other. So once you have looked at the evidence, talked with your classmates about it, then you are going to sort the evidence. So you're gonna decide whether each piece of evidence supports or goes against the which claim. So there are two claims right here claim one and claim two. And you have to decide if you think Jordan Jones um, improved his performance by blood doping or if he improved his performance by training at a higher altitude. So you will be sorting the cards um, on this drag and drop. You can take a card and you can move it here or here. And then once you do it, you will leave it here, right? And um, but if it just because it has the card name over on the other slide, these have all of the um, the evidence cards, um, what they mean, you know, what what each one is, what the evidence for each of the cards are, and then you'll continue with the rest of le the lesson. You're going in this question. You're going to be asking, um, answering. What are your initial ideas about which claim is best supported by the evidence? So good luck. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or join me during office hours. Thank you and have a great week.